So this is my first generation Torchier floor lamp conversion and I believe this one is a 40 watt CFL. Yeah, so that one, that's a 40 watt. I also initially had this 58 watt bulb that was a little bit bigger diameter. And with this conversion, because the bulb sits up over the top of the lamp, I had to put this lamp shade around the top to kind of keep the, the bright bulb from being visible, but that works pretty good. And I've used this for quite a number of years. I think I converted that maybe 10 years ago. And this is the second generation conversion that I did. I just took out the CFL bulb and screwed in an LED bulb, Edison base. Because the bulb's a little bit taller, I had to put a taller lampshade around the top. But that lamp has been working fine for three or four years now, I think, since I converted it. And all I had to do to make this conversion was just swap the CFL for an LED bulb. And the reason I went to the LED was you could get different wattages, different color temperatures, dimmable, non-dimmable, uh, different color rendering indexes. You could have a lot of choices there while the CFL bulbs were pretty much limited and definitely not dimmable. Yeah, so this is the CFL bulb again. I have it off. All the floor lamps I have have a two position switch. You can see that's the dim setting and it gives one flash and that's it and then you have full brightness. So with these CFL lamps, I was not able to get any dimming. The only way to change the brightness was to change bulbs. So I had the 58 watt, which was probably a little too bright, and then I went down to this 40 watt unit, which is okay, but it's uh, not dimmable, and also this one you cannot control with a remote outlet. So I have some uh, either Z-Wave or I used to have the X10 remote control outlets and you cannot use those with a CFL bulb. They just do not work. The bulb will just sit there and flash like it did with the dimmer and it'll just flash on and off every couple of seconds with the switch off. If you turn it on it works okay. You just can't turn it off. It'll just sit there. There's enough trickle current that just causes the CFL to flicker on and off. So let me show you my third generation conversion. Okay, this is my third generation lamp conversion. And there we go. This is uh, about a 4 watt setting and then I can turn the dimmer and that's 20 watts. Now one problem you might notice right here, these lamps that I have have this kind of translucent green base and they rely on some of the light leaking out of the bulb to kind of give this a soft glow. So right now that doesn't work. But if I do a little modification here, there we go. So I just had a piece of paper blocking some holes there in the bottom. That is my third generation Torchier floor lamp conversion. And you can see there, there's no lampshade on the top. And in fact, I can put my hand up there. It's not hot. And then I've got the dimmer. And this one dims from 4 watts all the way up to 20 watts. And I've got the kind of the lighting down below. And I think this is about a 3000 Kelvin. There's various color temperatures available, wattages, dimmable, non-dimmable. So let me show you how I did this. In fact, what we can do is I'll take you up above and we can take a look at that. So you can see right there is my lamp. So that's the lamp. This is a recessed ceiling lamp, a round fixture. And it just sits right down in there, just like the old halogen bulb did, but you don't burn yourself on it. It's cool to the touch, and that's 4 watts, and if you go up here, that's about 20 watts. 
And that's plenty of light for this uh, room here. You know, a 300 watt halogen bulb would be much brighter than this. I imagine this, this is probably brighter than a 75 watt bulb. Maybe about as bright as a 150 watt halogen bulb. But only 20 watts of power consumption. And you can see it, it turns off, it dims, it brightens. You got the translucent down lighting. Nothing on top. Looks just like the original lamp, except there's no scorching heat up there. So yeah, let me show you a few details on how I converted this. It's actually kind of a neat lamp, and I did a few things to make it work in here. So we'll take a look at that next.